So hashtag we want Cody took over Raw. And I really do appreciate the fact they only really did it during the Cody and relevant segment. So well done to the fans in attendance tonight. That's exactly how it should be done. Lots of signs. There was obviously a fire Dwayne sign as well. There was a lot of Rocky sucks chants. But note, Cody did not pick Seth Rollins tonight. In fact, WWE used Drew McIntyre to plant the seeds that Cody could still face Roman Reigns by telling him he has to finish his story. Don't let your dad down. Like, how does Cody now pick Seth? That's kind of silly, right? Whether you are on the side of The Rock or the side of Cody in all this, you honestly expect now Cody to pick Seth. The fact he hasn't does make you wonder if WWE could pivot or this could all be part of the plan. With Michael Cole saying lines on Raw tonight that Rock and Roman isn't official yet and will it be made official at the press event on Thursday and then obviously Cody Rhodes breaking his silence on Twitter saying appreciate the passion, God bless you all, but trust me, it does raise the question if you're not going to do Cody Roman and somehow get to that, why would you tell these passionate fans that there's even a small chance that you might? Because this is all going to kick off again if they don't do that. Surely. That was fans at Raw tonight booing the screen with The Rock appearing on it, obviously from SmackDown as well. So this is something WWE has to get control of. The main event saw Cody versus Nakamura in a match that Cody's daddy made famous. The ball rope match. According to Michael Cole, they would even use the exact same rope that Dusty Rhodes would use in MSG versus superstar Billy Graham. I thought it was a really good main event. Lots of throwbacks, obviously, to Dusty. But if you thought the crowd were quiet at times, it's because WWE muted more Rocky Sucks chants. <laughs> Cody Rhodes would beat Nakamura, finishing that chapter of the story, and then Drew McIntyre would attack after the match, leaving Cody Rhodes laying. This is Things You Might Have Missed from WWE Raw. Make sure you hit the like button, and if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button too. We have to talk about Drew McIntyre's shirt on Raw, using the meme of him sitting at CM Punk's WrestleMania main event grave. Oh, it's brilliant. And after Drew McIntyre was actually fined tonight by Adam Pearce for attacking an injured Seth Rollins, you can support Drew McIntyre by buying his new t-shirt on WWE Shop right now. The first Elimination Chamber qualifying match took place tonight between Becky Lynch and Shayna Baszler. Really good match. I don't know why Shayna tied Becky up to the ropes by tucking her fingers into her belt like she just couldn't pull her fingers out. I, what was that about? But nonetheless, the result we kind of expected. Becky Lynch qualifies for the Elimination Chamber match. We then got a really interesting promo from Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan obviously returned at the Royal Rumble. First time she's appeared on Raw since. And she'll be in a qualification match for the Elimination Chamber next week versus Zoe Stark. Liv, though, saying that she's back for revenge against Rhea Ripley. Obviously, Rhea was the one who originally injured Liv Morgan. So the storyline's definitely there. I mean, it does give another option. People are so adamant it's going to be Becky Rhea, which actually I think it could be. But Liv's name's in the hat now. And if you wonder why we support Liv Morgan so much, here's a reminder. Hello, C Wrestling. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I feel like I'm fanning out. I follow your Twitter. I think you're so clever and so smart and cryptic. I love everything that you do. I love all your coverage of everything that I've done. So I am a fan. Thank you. DIY have qualified in the Raw side of the tag team tournament that happened tonight. It was a fatal four-way, really good performance by DIY. There was a bit of a botch pin. Obviously, Gargano started the pin, Ciampa would finish it, the referee still just counted to three. But I can forgive it because Friday we got a literal dream match. I remember begging to see this match years ago. British Strong Style, Tyler Bate, Pete Dunne versus Johnny Gargano. And Tommaso Ciampa. DIY British Strong Style. My Smackdown's going to be stacked. That match alone is worth tuning in for. 
an irate Rhea Ripley would come to the ring tonight calling out Nia Jax. And I love how they did this. Having it happen during an Adam Pearce, Drew McIntyre segment just kept the flow of the show going. And of course, this wasn't planned. This wasn't a planned part of the show. So it felt more spontaneous. Having Adam Pearce then come out was just the cherry on top. Of course, Nia Jax would come out. It didn't end well for Rhea Ripley at all. Didn't really end well for general manager Adam Pearce either. I mean, he shouldn't have gone out there in the first place, should he? Poor Adam Pearce, man. But this has to be the elimination chamber, right? We've got to be thinking that. I'm sure they're going to be sending this up. This has to be the match that sees Rhea Ripley win in Australia, surely. Ivar and Valhalla were successful tonight, defeating Akira Tozawa and Maxine Dupree. Gotta give respect to that choke lift in the corner to Akira Tozawa by Ivar. Made him look brutal with that slam going down. Brom Breaker was on Raw tonight. Very interesting. Obviously, they teased this on Friday Smackdown. But it was interesting because it was in a segment with Imperium. Obviously, a lot of people wondering, could Bron take Brock's possible spot at WrestleMania as well? And could we get Bron Breaker versus Gunter? Well, Gunter did have... An Intercontinental title 600 day celebration tonight. And it would be Jay Uso who would step up as next. I don't think they're going to stretch this out till WrestleMania. By the way, I loved Pat McAfee on the announced desk during Jay Uso's entrance. Obviously, all the fans are hyped. McAfee just adds a lot to it. But as I said, they're not going to stretch this to Mania. You're going to do this prior to, whether before or after or at the Elimination Chamber. I think that's when you do it. And to be fair, wouldn't it be genius to have Jimmy Uso cost Jey Uso the Intercontinental title like he did him and Cody the tag belts? And then you set up Jimmy versus Jay at WrestleMania, potentially? Did our truth actually join the Judgment Day tonight? Like, he was there to annoy them again, obviously. But in the end, Damian Priest just said, oh, make yourself at home. Like, they didn't care in the end. Worth noting, they've still got that tiny old ass TV that R Truth actually gave them. But R Truth would find a box of t shirts, and the t shirts were the ones with R Truth on them. Is Judgment Day actually coming around to the idea of R Truth being in the faction? Well, Truth would come out and he would hand out the t shirt to fans during a match between The Miz and JD McDonough. But it would be R Truth putting the t shirt on Dirty Dom. I love that. It's so good. And then handing JD a load of money again that would be the distraction that caused JD to lose to The Miz and his money as well go flying. Which, by the way, our truth then picked up all the money and left with him. He robbed JD! <laughs> oh, poor JD McFunko Pop. The Kabuki Warriors retained their tag team titles tonight, defeating Caden Carter and Katana Chance. Honestly, I like the match. But I kind of thought Bailey would be around. I kind of think after the big turn on Friday, maybe this was the perfect opportunity to highlight that more. A highlight promo for Sami Zayn, sitting in the stands all alone. And obviously this was genius, man. This showed Sami Zayn's passion on why he wants to be champion, saying it's not just for him, but it's for the fans. Honestly, how do you leave Sami Zayn now out of the World Heavyweight title picture? Surely we're building to a triple threat between Sammy, Drew and Seth, right? If we're not doing Cody, I don't even know. But you know what? As a wrestling fan, it's always fun not to know. I think there was some decent action tonight. I think there was a lot of stuff they could have done. Obviously, I've referenced stuff in the video. So for me, 6.5 out of 10 is low, but it seems very fair for tonight. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on notifications. Never miss an upload. Like the video. Share the video. Catch you next time. Peace!